Can someone help me, please? <laughs> Can a pedophile in the Discord help me, oh please? Oh, my God. No, but you're not going to get any fucking... <laughs> I will. Yeah, there's uh... always a smart ass, huh? <laughs> it's all fun and games. Is till... he in there? Uh, I think... Oh, he sent me a DM. Okay. Well, they changed the fucking DM process, too. Uh, oh, yes. All right. 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 Obviously, I'm biased because he's my friend. Yeah, yeah of course. I support my friends. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I support my friends over the fucking government and church. Yeah. Well, yes. And I attack people who don't support them. <laughs> that, you, that's also true. <laughs> also true. Uh, okay, now I got to figure out how this... Whatever, I whatever happens, as a I really... Like, but the only thing... Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not judging him. I'm Nick. not. Yeah, I don't have any yeah. fucking. I don't have any place to fucking do that. Like, I like Nick. Okay, he's in my like, server. Nick is a very. He's a smart, capable guy. Yeah. I just. I really. All I would want is for him and his family to be all right. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, nice. Whatever, yeah. whatever that needs to. Whatever needs right, to happen. Right, whatever right, he right, needs right, to do. Right. Whatever. Whatever problems he does or doesn't have. How much it doesn't. It just. There's a. You know. You could. <laughs> You can whether you're in the weeds or on the side of the road away. You can you you can get it back. There he is. I see him. All right, all right. So uh, Connor's a defense lawyer. Uh huh. You, Connor, can you say something? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm pressing all the buttons. <laughs> there you are. Can you hear me? Yeah. I guess Perfect. I'm not such a non-pedophile after all, Sean. <laughs> okay. Press the correct buttons. Uh, Connor, how you doing? You want to introduce your uh, yourself a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm doing pretty well. I'm happy to be here. Uh, my name's Connor. I'm a defense lawyer in the South. Uh, mm -hmm. I practice uh, criminal justice uh, in a county of about 50k people, uh -huh. uh, and uh, which is roughly the size of what or the county uh, Mr. Cato works in. So oh, I think I have a little bit of experience in the similar demographics that he may be uh, finding himself in. Can we call him New Nick? New Nick? New Nick. <laughs> Do you want to be no. cursed with that? No. Name, Connor? You want to be New Nick? Uh, <laughs> no, we I don't. don't. His Connor. The, His name's Connor. The police may be knocking on my door if I'm New Nick. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, so Nick got a, he petitioned for a new judge. And yeah. he got, he was awarded a new judge uh -huh. in his, in his cocaine cowboy trial Because today. things that his, he, statements he made could she could have bias because he of that called or her a dumb that bitch for like an hour and a half <laughs> yeah. and that she's a typical woman and oh, just wow. like to argue and that she'd come back the next day and say you know i was thinking you were right he really <laughs> <laughs> so he, i mean so he knew he had to get out in front of that right I mean, just, okay. okay makes uh -huh. sense yeah you know he didn't run a trump situation mm, right. um okay so i mean i don't know connor what's your first uh what's your first thoughts on this whole thing Anything jump yes. out at you that's interesting with your experience? Yeah, so the, the first thing I noticed was basically why they were searching his house. Um, typically, when you get a search warrant, you uh, describe to the judge who approves the warrant a uh, pattern of behavior that uh, would lead a, you know, legal speak, but a, a reasonable person to believe a crime is happening or about to happen. Uh -huh. And I've never seen a search warrant read like this one. Um, it starts off with, Really? Uh, you mean yeah, like? Yeah. What do you mean? You've never you've never seen a search warrant read like this? Yeah. Like so what? so I practice uh, you know a lot of criminal law. I've read a lot of search warrants. A lot of the search warrants for going into somebody's house typically involve you know allegations that that person is dealing or, or trafficking something. And what would that um, be like? Like with that because the 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 allegations here are the pastor. It, it'd be like <laughs> it'd be like it do. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. The pastor says Nick left sermons a couple of times and came back. Yeah. That other yeah. other parishioners at the church saw him driving drunk or yeah. under the influence. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that yeah. he seemed lethargic at yeah. church, if you can believe that. He's got five Sean. kids. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so I don't know about Minnesota, but leaving church isn't a crime. So <laughs> yeah. there needs to be a little bit more <laughs> mm. to it than that. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying when it, it reads a little different mm, yeah. than uh, most of the warrants I see. Most of the warrants okay. I see, um, you know, it's it's police either doing a controlled buy from somebody, like they'll uh, knock on their door, go inside, yeah. and they'll be wired up and mic'd up and, you know, get somebody on, you know, tape selling right. them drugs, and that's how they justify the warrant. Oh, so I shouldn't but, be doing, is that not, you shouldn't be <laughs> selling drugs to random people that come to your house? You should at least vet them. 
Okay. <laughs> so make make sure they're not uh or yeah. pat them down. Like you're not a cop, a right? Two. Is that still the way yeah. to do that? You know, because you yeah, have to I tell. I think me. that's pretty foolproof. Uh huh. Exactly. Okay. But yeah. So it's it's controlled buys, or the police are just like on your street yeah, surveilling you, um, uh-huh. just making sure that uh, there's a reason to go in the house because they they need a, ultimately a war- a reason to apply to, for a warrant to a judge. Mm-hmm. So if there's a lot of people going in and out, a lot of shady folk, like different car every day, that yeah. could lead somebody to reasonably. Um, yeah reasonably, yeah, reasonably think that there's drugs going on at the house. Yeah. So I guess so, yeah. it's kind of, I guess what I'm, so, there's the difference between child neglect, which is, which is sort of claimed, uh, in, which is claimed as second hand by the pastor. The pastor says the, the preschool teacher says the kids said they were hungry. That's one thing. But then the drugs, it doesn't seem like the two are related in all the statements and the affidavit for the search warrant. It seems like, it seems like the drug stuff all came from Aaron Imholt and then the cop watching Nick on stream and all the kids stuff came from a preschool teacher saying that the kids were saying they were hungry. Is that weird? Like, is that, I don't know. I've never seen it. You've never seen something like that. So uh, hmm. I've never seen a warrant to go into somebody's house for child neglect. U- usually huh. that is um, a welfare call. You know, a mandated reporter puts in uh, a tip to a hotline somewhere and then the Department of Human Services or, you know, CPS or whatever mm-hmm. your state calls it goes in and, and does an investigation for neglect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, those are two separate things, two separate agencies handle them. Typically, the police don't really care unless there's something else going on. Mm-hmm. And so, right. yeah, I don't think you get the search warrant without the video. Um, and that's really the only thing I can see that that, that points to maybe um, crimes happening, probable cause for that. So is but that even then? It's, it's is it's that thin. valid? Because every single, if I'm even a little bit high energy, and I have never done, I have never done drugs streaming. I mean, besides liquor, never. But every episode, somebody will say, I, sw- I swear to God, that's true. Uh, oh no, so no. Every, every episode, somebody we've been say, on other people streams on acid, right? <laughs> this this show. Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. done this show on, I, any, on anything other than liquor. I've never seen you <laughs> under what I would even think was was like on crosswords or anything like yeah. that. I've never uh, seen it. Is that? But there's there was always be a bunch of people saying, "Oh, you're obviously so coked up yep. on this episode." And like, it's not. I mean, there's no point in arguing with it. Yeah, but but, but I know it's not true. Uh, what I'm asking is. Is that is it possible for the cops to watch a stream and self-identify as like visual drug sniffing dogs and say like boom this guy's obviously on something other than life he's obviously high on something other than life and law so I need to bust them I need a, I need a warrant yeah I, I think it's theoretically possible but again I've seen hundreds of these search warrants and I've mm-hmm. never once seen that um, I've never seen somebody get a warrant for essentially suspected drug use yeah it's always for dealing or it's always for yeah. um, repeated trafficking um drugs out of in or out of, out of the house and there's it's been never no just because yeah there's been no uh accusations mm-hmm. of like selling drugs trafficking drugs anything like because no. I, I know what he's saying it, it is it, like i've heard because yeah, i remember weird you know the cop that we both know yeah yeah, 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 yeah. he worked like a on narcotics long officer. long yeah. time they talk about you know they do the buys they he do would like say all the like same a, thing yeah oh no i know like it's it's not just like oh so and so uh does coke on the weekends go over to his you know it's like yeah really no, 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 like really kick the shit out of yeah right, right. it's like no there, it's it's what a reason it's like what are all these weird cars doing you know at mm. odd hours all yeah. the time like it's it's a lot more than like yeah there's drugs he looks high on stream yeah and being high isn't really a i mean it's not a crime unless you're doing something else you know like if you're driving while high that's a crime if you're making an ass of yourself in public that's a crime but doing or being intoxicated without anything else that's really not a reason to yeah, get a war you could be in the hospital um, yeah <laughs> right i mean you're, exactly you're not doing anything you're, you're high they made me high yeah uh, exactly rack up crimes every couple of seconds yeah based on grab a lot of nurses are. man so what about like this uh i've seen people throw this one at me a lot it's the they say like well it's you know it's all these things combined really it's a pattern of behavior and when anybody says that i start thinking oh you actually have nothing you just don't like this guy and you want to get in for something. Is that, 
Is so there, there? Yeah, go ahead. There is something to that uh, in that to get a search warrant, um, probable cause is based off of what uh, we in the legal profession say the totality of the circumstances, mm-hmm. which is just um, all the factors added up makes a reasonable person think crimes are happening. So, uh, yes, but um, I, I, it, it seems clear to me that you don't get a search warrant without that video. I mean, I, I really can't see pl- people uh, going into somebody's house just for, you know, children are dirty. Children are dirty all the time. Like they're, they're, yeah. For some reason, they're focusing on that um, that that video. I, I haven't watched that video to, be, to make it clear. Uh, I've never... I don't really follow Nick. Yeah. I just uh, know he's a you know popular guy, and this news broke and it you know, took me aback. But um, without that video, I mean, I can't see any judge approving it. So the video is what fought, what fucked him over. I mean, that guy. I think added saying. another. Yeah, because each each thing is not probably strong enough on its own, is what wow. I'm gathering. Yeah, so it's, and, you and need you need that, the, like you said, the totality of it's like a little bit of evidence, a little bit of evidence, a little bit. Ah, this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. Yeah, probably something going on. <sighs> it's a lot of trouble for TikTok. Yeah. Go ahead. And even even that video, I mean, that just shows that he may have dug, done drugs once. You know, yeah. it doesn't mm-hmm. mean that there's drugs in the house. Mm-hmm. So from a defense perspective, you know, I don't personally think there's probable cause to go in there even with that video. So really in my, yeah, in my opinion, I, th- I think this is, it's just weird all around. Hmm. What do you, uh, is that the, d- the defense for something like this? Like you got to, yeah. you get the search warrant thrown out because there's no probable cause there. Yeah. So th- there's multiple ways to attack a warrant. Um, it's either through the probable cause aspect of it, or, you know, there's some technical aspect of it that's deficient. Mm. Um, Probable cause is really hard to challenge because a judge has already said there's Mm. probable cause. Uh, And so you're asking another judge to uh, basically shit on their friend, uh, which they're, they're not really, you know, jumping up in arms to do. Does it matter that that judge uh, hated Nick or he was talking all that (laughs) shit? The one who granted the warrant. The one who the, granted the warrant was the chick that he was. Yeah, she's like, oh <laughs> fuck yeah, <laughs> you get his ass. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so judges are pretty used to that, so that that's not a legal reason for a judge uh, okay. to get off Shit. the case. But yeah, yeah. Oh man, so that's gonna be tough. <laughs> that's gonna be yeah, tough it's, for it's, Nick to get rid of. It's it's definitely gonna be tough, and especially um, you know if a judge says, hey, there's there is probable cause. You know, the only way to challenge that judge's ruling is if he goes through to a trial and then appeals it or uh, you know, takes some sort of deal with the provision that he can appeal that judge's uh, ruling. So it, it just becomes really messy really quick. What if, uh, what if we break in to the evidence <laughs> and do all the cocaine mm. and then there's none for trial? Would that be a good defense? So, yes, <laughs> to, to, to say it uh, as plainly as I possibly can. Yeah. Uh, if the evidence is gone, there's no case. So they, they got to make sure they, they preserve uh, okay. it. So the children have to disappear? Yeah, the children, <laughs> children got to go. Yeah. We need Yairo with the uh, ice powers yeah. you know, to go in there and set the coke free. <laughs> uh, wow, well, that sucks. That's bad news. Poor Nick. Uh, do you think... Uh, uh, what do you think about the small townness of it? That's because you're in a town about the same size. Yeah, That's the what the county is like fifty thousand, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Not yeah a big, so not to a big me, county. do you think that's working against them? Oh, for sure. Um, this does not get approved in a in a big city. This one, yeah, sure. Because um, because honestly, who cares uh, yeah. if somebody did drugs once on on camera? Yeah, you know that happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, it it to me it kind of reeks of small town politics. Hmm. Yeah, man, the... It makes a lot of sense, I mean... The, like, the affidavit that everybody supplied with, with the this person, it was full of, like, the Ricadas fired their nanny, and then the nanny went to work for a new couple at the church, and that couple came forward saying that they were worried about what was going on at the Ricadas house. Because the nanny was telling stories. Because the nanny stories. was telling stories. It's like, does anybody keep their mouth shut in this? Is that not, like, a... Yeah. Is that not something that happens here? Well, church churches are the most gossipy places on earth. God, they're so bad. Yeah, like, really I mean, shamefully wants to know, bad. Yeah, who's sinning more than them? Yeah, so I'll feel better. Yes, yeah. there's a lot of that. Um, yeah, I'm scrolling through it right now. The preschool director advised the pastor that the younger children have advised her. The children were advising her. Yeah, that they are hungry and not being fed. 
and also made a comment about the clothing. They wanted new clothing. One anonymous party advised that they do not believe the children are being homeschooled while the older boys do not attend school at the Christian school. Why was that in there? I I have no idea. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, all information. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I was just going to make the point that um, to me, there must have been something that uh, either through gossip or, or through something else that got that detective to want to sit through and watch hours of somebody's content yeah. because mm. like, I just don't see a police guy taking time out of their day when they're supposed to be you know, catching criminals to watch YouTube, you know, now, <laughs> now he, he's, to streams. he's a cop of the town, I would guess. Is right. He? We're talking. Well, yeah. Okay. So, uh, but the County. So, I mean, how big is the town? If he's a town cop, oh, maybe God, he doesn't I have a whole know. lot of shit to Spicer. do. Maybe it's, maybe it's 400 people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where uh, he lives. An anonymous person advised the pastor that they observed Nick being lethargic and appeared to be high or drugged driving a car around. Married five kids. <laughs> Next. <laughs> it sounds, you know, in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, yeah. when they go to that cop. As like, your lawyer, I advise thing, you. Yeah. And that guy's up there explaining weed to everybody. Yeah. Just seems like that. Mm. Like, Dan, and this, he's constantly jacking off. His pants are encrusted with semen. <laughs> Jacking off when he can't find a rape victim. Uh, <laughs> right. Another anonymous person advised that Nick will walk out randomly during sermons. <laughs> Is that in a That's fucking hilarious. legal document? He's in his 40s. Maybe his Jeez. prostate. You know? His it, prostate's yeah. fucked from all the cocaine. Uh, anonymous individuals have advised that they have seen what was being described as an injection or track marks on Nick's arm. Yeah, I mean, that's... They're kind of fucking easy to identify. Yeah, I mean, you know, people people see kind they're of what... They're attached to oh, a guy some, sleeping on the street. Yeah, you gotta, you know, you, yeah, you're gonna see... Who who knows? He could be have, have carried something fucking heavy with metal... Like, he could have been I've, fucking his wife and I, got bruises all over his I, arms. I've marked up, or, you know, who knows? You could think of a million boys. things. Yeah, you know, he lives on a fucking farm. Yeah. Track marks... Uh... Yeah, yeah, you often like, see what you want to see too. Yeah, it's all. So uh, it looks like. Think, yeah, yeah, if they think he's doing drugs, then of course it's a track mark. It's it's it couldn't, can't be anything else. No. It's crazy how many stories we have to drill into people's heads as children that mass hip- hysteria exists. That people will always like vilify others when they when they feel like it. They'll all make shit up. Like we've got to read all. We read at least one major story about this every year as kids. Right? Like, we learn about Salem witch trials. Oh, yeah, everybody thought they were witches. No. Obviously, witches aren't real. No. So, everyone's just making shit up. Uh, Scarlet Letter, everybody fucking hated that bitch. And then the second you stop hearing that those stories, when get out of the real world, it's okay, game on. We're doing yeah. that. We're doing all that stuff, right? Yeah, because we're, su- the- we're fucking superstitious fucking monkeys <laughs> running around like, yeah. Yeah. Um, anonymous individuals have advised, oh, yeah, track marks. They believe the Imholtz are possibly assisting with some type of drug use with uh, Nick and his wife. Mm. Nick's blogging and views or subscribers are down, possibly resulting in financial issues. Oh, so there's like his stress, you know, he's <laughs> turned to the bottle and the, and the, and the, Is this, do you he's see turned this? to the, the needle yeah. and the spoon. Yeah. Because, yeah. Do you see this right. in the fucking search warrant affidavit? It the seems very. <laughs> his, his YouTube subscribers are down. Is that so? What, right. That's what it says. Look at yeah, this. No, no, I see it. I see it. Yeah. The cops did this and I'm fucking dumb for not believing the cops. That's okay. Yeah. Anonymous individuals advised the pastor that they believe the Imholtz, that's the other the yeah, couple, the other couple they were allegedly yeah. sling, swinging with, yeah, yeah, yeah. are possibly assisting with some type of drug use with right. Nick and his wife right. because Nick's blogging and views and or subscribers are down, I mean, possibly resulting in financial issues. That's really just, you know, that's really grasping at straws. Like, what's a, well, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. You this know, cocksucker's he, just getting, hey, everybody, you got some shit to say about Nick? Yeah. Let's go to the cops. Before I, Let's get a posse before together. Before I came over here, you know, and like, if, if I go out and I like, you know, like fucking, you know, decide to kill somebody, which is 50, 50, maybe 50, today. 50, yeah. yeah. It's like, I, you know, he could have had a fight with his girlfriend before. So like you could say anything that could be stressed. Like, are down. Yeah. Um, an anonymous person also advised the pastor, man, this pastor is, uh, is really betraying God. He's a busy body. Saving up gossip yeah. and yeah. gossip like, like this shit, turning it over on your, 
There's a real wolf, uh, wolf in sheep's clothing here. Well, you know, Jesus. I mean, I got a, whew, I got some spicy gas for you. Yeah, really. Yeah. I thought Lindsey Graham was bad. An anonymous mm. person who advised the pastor that at one point Nick and his wife left with the Imholds to go to a casino, leaving the children alone, no. putting the oldest son Dead of iniquity. <laughs> <laughs> they can't play some blackjack at, at home. <laughs> blackjack and hookers. <laughs> Maybe not Blackjack. Uh, uh, putting the oldest son, who was born in 2007, in charge. No. Yeah. 16. I used One to watch... One thing about the... Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I used to watch my younger brothers and sisters when I was younger than that. Like n- like 10. Probably. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. If, uh, probably closer to 10 than 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking normal. Yeah. 10-year-old kids can do anything. What were you going to say? You know say? how to call 911. Yeah. Yes. So one, one thing I was going to say about the anonymous person line, it's unclear to me if it's the same anonymous person, if they're different anonymous people every time they list it. And, you know, if I'm attacking this thing, it's very different if it's just one person just talking shit versus, yeah. you know, the whole town saying, hey, there's a problem here. What's the difference? So I, I just have a lot of problems with uh, with how this officer is, is writing this up. The, the difference being, you know, it, to weigh, you know, a bunch of people saying something's going on, it has technically more weight than if it's just one guy. Um, it's ah. coming from multiple sources. Mm-hmm. The judge is, is considering multiple angles. I see. Um, so, it, you know, just to be more clear, I think the detective really needs to specify, you know, if it's if it's just one person, the same anonymous guy, or if the whole town is talking about this. Mm. Leave, putting yeah. the oldest son who was born in, who was 16, in charge. Uh, the pastor was unsure if that was suitable or not. Yeah, that's no one. Uh, no wonder he went to the cops, right? You know, this family left their their kids. Yeah, they're from six to sixteen. They left them home. Yeah, alone. Allegedly, this this cocksucker doesn't know if if that oh. actually happened. By the way, well, he also doesn't know what kind of kid the sixteen year old is. Like, you know, I mean, like, why? How would he? What how would he be in a position of it to, is to judge to judge the you know the how well that kid could take care of the situation if they're gone for a few hours or something god this is white people his... shit man mm. you tell a mexican pastor a hey, uh, padre yeah uh they left their uh their five kids home with their 16 year old i'll like, tell my Wes? wife to bring ours over <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's running a I'm gonna fu- yeah yeah, yeah. Ay, bu- bueno yeah. bueno right, right let's go to the casino um okay wow. is there anything else you had on here that anything that popped out uh to you, Connor, it's kind of like a like a mouthful. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I just wanted to make the point that, you know, I, I come from a small town. I, I practice in a small town um, similar to where Nick's from. And even in my experience, I've never seen anything quite like this one. So, yeah, I, I just kind of want to just drive that home that there is something going on. Um, either Doesn't it seem pressure, like that? Something's th- going th- yeah. on. That pastor's got an axe to grind here. Mm. I think yeah. it's just it's reeks of footloose to me. It does. It, it's some pressure on the police coming from either the church members or from you know some other outside source. But that, that's kind of where this all kicks off for me. It's a small town politics makes some sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it does. Yeah, it, yeah, in a big city, this is not even a conversation. <laughs> yeah. They don't waste oh, they their to, time on that. They went to casino where they go Yamava, yeah. Pachanga. Yeah. What, are you, yeah, yeah. what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> Uh, what kind of cases have you, like, what's the biggest, craziest case that you've uh, defended? Can you say anything like that? I comment on current cases, but, you know, I've, I've done, you know, low-level drug possession to yeah. murder cases. I've, oh, I've handled shit. pretty much everything. Yeah. Yeah. Murder. Whew. Yeah. That's... I don't know how you guys do that. Gets easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you do it. Like, I, I would imagine you kind of have to take... Be- <laughs> Are you allowed to know if they did? Like, do you get the okay. sense of if they did it or not? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but everyone's entitled to a defense. Is kind of the 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 line you've got to take in your head, right? Yeah. I mean, you you're entitled to a defense. I'm going to defend you within the law as best yeah. I can, and let the chips fall where they may. I suppose. Yeah. Right. You got to make the state prove what they need to prove, yeah. and that's kind of what you got to tell yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Uh, I guess if you lose a murder, like what's the what's the response that you give to the guy if you were to lose one? Do you have like it written in your head in advance just in case like a moon landing gone bad? I mean, there's the canned response you got to give them. So you have to advise them about their rights to appeal 
And, uh, you know, the time limits for doing that, you talk to them about how they can get all that set up. And so you get all the legal stuff out of the way, but most of it, like, you know, I've had somebody get a life sentence before and all you you can really do is just say, sorry, (laughs) sorry (laughs) that happened. (laughs) What else can you say? What else can you say? There's nothing you can do. As soon as a sentence comes down, you just got to turn and smack them and go, you shouldn't have fucking killed her. (laughs) Yeah. Uh... Well, maybe that's not good. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, shit, man. That's why I'm not a lawyer. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. I hope. What do you? You got any predictions for this? For this Nick thing? Oh, I think yeah. he pleads to some sort of probation deal and gets in trouble with his his bar. But that, that's about all that comes out of this. Oh, oh. you think he's going to get in trouble with the bar? Oh, interesting. Yeah. This is there like a conduct clause in a you yeah know, what would, ethics? Are kind lawyers of stuff not allowed and, to break the law? That way? I mean, that way. Money, I know they're not allowed to do money shit, but, like, other laws they're not allowed to break? You're not allowed to um, behave in anything that kind of, you know, disparages the profession. And, I mean, there's ethical rules that, you know, lay it all out. But, yeah. you know, if you're out getting DWIs all the time, mm. they're going to get you in trouble for it. Yeah. Uh, they're going to give you a slap they on the wrist. They coach a and hockey and team. I know. They make exactly. you take fucking one. George as a client. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how the exactly. fuck did Landau survive all that shit? His then dad. he's a oh, his dad. Yeah, sure. His dad. Uh, yeah, who knows? I don't know. Uh, well, I hope he comes back to stream it again. Oh, it's a fate worse than death. Taking him on as a client, Landau. I imagine that yes. that should be a way for him to get his subscriber numbers up. As if uh, he does come back to streaming. So, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, he's moving to a daytime show. <laughs> there I you think. go. That nighttime show, man, that was a well, big problem for him because he's doing his nighttime is already two hours ahead. Yeah. And then he's streaming for, you know, Pacific Coast nighttime. It's like, man, you're, you're going to, yeah, something's going to happen. Something's got to yeah, blow here. Sure. Uh, you got to, you got to give up that church, man. You're hitting it too hard. Mm. Once a week? Mm. Oof. No. It's going to be a big problem for you. Mm. Maybe once a, maybe once a month, church. Don't ask anybody's name. Pastor looks at you, head down. Mm. I don't want to fuck. I don't want you to fucking be able to identify me in a lineup, bro. Sunglasses at all times. <laughs> Sunglasses at all times. When you're feeling good, when you're not feeling good. That Nick guy, you have any, you know, eye problems? Mm-hmm. He ever look hungover? And no, I just look cool as fuck, rocking Ray Bans yeah. every single mass. Yep. Mm, we'll get you next time. Mm. All right. Uh, thank you for calling him in. Anytime. Yeah. Thanks. See ya. Bye.